What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Mike on App Fishing. We're going to have another installment of Tackle Tip Tuesday today. Today we're going to talk about rod organization and why it is so important. So rod organization is a big deal to me because everybody hates reaching down in that rod box and having treble hooks wrapped all up in the line and everything. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to fight it even worse. When, when I'm on the water and I have a treble hook stuck in something, first thing I do, reach for pliers and I start ripping because I'm ticked off. I want to be able to grab my stuff. I want to be able to go. So this year I had the unique opportunity of joining up with the rod glove. And the rod glove offers something that not very many people do. It's a neoprene rod sleeve. I've never seen anything like it on the market. I'm, I'm going to be willing to bet and say they're the only ones that make this rod sleeve. Um, it's very unique in the fact that hooks do not penetrate it. Uh, now, obviously, if you sit there with a hook like, oh, I'm going to prove him wrong. Yeah, you're going to get it to go through there. But when it's in the rod locker, no. Nah. It doesn't rattle around and get stuck in the rod sleeve. It's ready to go. And if it does get stuck on the rod sleeve, it's just barely skin hooked. It doesn't go past the barb. So you literally just grab it, pull it right off. You're ready to go again. It's all about organization on the water. And that's going to help you be more proficient on the water. So here is one of our Rod Glove Pro Series neoprene rod gloves. Um, they, you know, they do stretch a little bit. They come in two different sizes. They come in a 5.25 and a 6 foot for your bigger rods. Um, I use the 5.25 for anything that is 7 foot 6 and lower. I use the 6 foot for anything that is over 7.5 feet. Um, I use the 6 foot series a lot for my crankbait rods, my swimbait rods, my, you know, my big bulky rods that are close to 8 feet. Those are what my 6 footers go towards. So. These are the neoprene series, and I'm actually going to get a hook. I had a hook out and ready, and now it's caught in my leg, so give me just a sec. There we go. Uh, all right. So we have got a uh, swim bait hook here. Oh, wow, that's not wanting to focus on that, is it? <laughs> uh, well, you get the point. There's a hook there. And we're just going to show you guys. It doesn't get hooked. You know, look, look at that. I can't even set it on there. Well, I might be able to get it set. It's just using the weight there. But it is not going to penetrate on there. And if it does penetrate, it's literally just skin hooked, barely. And it just comes right off. There's no more fighting those things. No more consistently getting them hung up in the... Uh, I, I'm not even sure what that material is called. But you know what I'm talking about. The original rod socks that everybody has, but everything gets hung in them. These are great. They go right on there. No hook penetration. I mean, look at that. I'm actually... It's not going in there. So, that's one of the great pleasures of the new neoprene by the Rod Glove. It's called the Pro Series Rod Glove. Um, so, I'm actually going to show you guys my box and show you all how I kind of keep my stuff organized. They make four different colors in these. They make a solid black. They make the red outlined one, they make the blue outlined one, and then they make a camouflage one. So those are the four colors, and I'm going to open up my rod box for you guys and show you guys how I use the colors to my advantage. All right, guys. Here is my rod locker. Um, it's a little messy right now, mostly because I've got uh, like eight rods on deck. Um, I've been fishing a lot of offshore stuff, so I'm still trying to, uh, you know, figure out the offshore bite and figure out what all's in there but so as you can see that is all that i run are the neoprene series uh rod gloves i think i do have one of the originals in there because it's holly's and she likes the pink so the way i go about it this is all about organization the camouflage rod glove those are for cranking sticks only cranking sticks um well, let me rephrase that. Those are for cranking sticks and swim baits because I classify those in the same um, in the same general category, um, fishing deep and all that jazz. They kind of go hand in hand for me. So the uh, the camouflage ones are for crankbaits. Here actually is a crankbait with one on it. So 
Now, the all black ones are kind of my misfits. The all black ones are whatever doesn't fit into a category. Um, I have a, uh, let's see here, what is this? This is a top water walking bait. So that's what I have the all black one on here. Then you've got my blue ones here. Oh, I got that stuck on there. Listen here, I'm telling y'all to stay organized and I got a treble hook stuck on there. <laughs> All right, so the blue ones are actually going to be a single rod. Um, the old 18 hollow point seven foot three medium heavy action. Um, I'm not proud to say this, but I have six of them. <laughs> they are um, all around a great universal rod. It's, it, it's, it's a utility rod for me. Um, I'm able to do anything and everything with that rod. So that's why it gets its own color uh, rod glove for me to be able to quickly identify. I need, um, you know, I need my seven foot three to throw a spinner bait, throw a vibrating jig, throw a worm, throw a jig. Um, I, I need that rod right now. I need to go grab a black and navy one because that's what that rod is. Now, you know, the rods have different reels and line diameters and everything, but majority of them are set up ready to roll. <clears throat> so the black and red ones, the black and red ones are more or less my flipping style of rods and reels. Let me switch hands with the camera here. The red and black ones are going to be anything that I flip with, um, whether that be a jig, that be a flipping bait, punching bait, uh, just a weightless worm, that's red and black for me. Um, it, it's quick organization, guys. You know, knowing, reaching in there saying, okay, I'm gonna start punching. Where's the black and red ones? Right there's the black and red ones. Now let me eliminate which rod I need. It's just faster that way, easier that way, and it keeps you extremely organized, guys. That's what it's all about, is organization, staying staying ready on the water. And as you guys know, you know I, we all carry more rods than we actually need most of the time, but always knowing where it is, when you need it, what you need, and how quickly it is to get to it, it's, it's great being able to be this organized with the rod glove. All right, guys, there you have it for another installment of Tackle Tuesday. I hope that really helps you guys on the organizational front, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm I'm really big on organization and I feel like that's something that a lot of anglers don't really take into consideration is the organizational standpoint of it. One bad thing about living near an airport, those boys go up there and just go crazy in those planes. Uh, hopefully that isn't too much interference on the camera and you can actually hear me. Um, so the big deal is organization, um, you know, always being organized on the water. It makes you more proficient as an angler. You're not going to be out there worrying about where everything is, if anything's getting hung up, if anything's getting stuck in your rod gloves, stuff like that, you have more, you have enough things to worry about on the water of trying to figure out the pattern of the bass. If you can eliminate the organizational part of it, it'll make your life a heck of a lot easier. Guys, if you like these videos, please leave me a like, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment below. I really enjoy making the videos for you guys, so we're gonna keep pumping these bad boys out. Uh, if you guys ever see me out on Cherokee Lake, Douglas Lake, South Holston, Watauga, Boone, Anywhere, you guys come talk to me. We'll have a good time talking fishing. I'll see you guys out on the water. Take care, y'all.